have just combined our master mix, water, and single cell suspension. Now we're ready to immediately load the chip. We have our combined master mix and single cell suspension on ice. Our next gem single cell 5' prime gel beads have been equilibrated to room temperature for at least 30 minutes. And we have our partitioning oil. We are now ready to load the chip. For gem generation, load the indicated reagents only in the specified rows, starting from the row labeled 1, followed by rows labeled 2 and 3. Do not load reagents in the bottom row labeled no fill. We gently pipette mix the master mix and cell suspension. Using the same pipette tips, we dispense 70 microliters into the row labeled 1. When loading the chip, raising and depressing the pipette plunger should each take approximately 5 seconds. When dispensing, raise the pipette tips at the same rate as the liquid is rising, keeping the tips slightly submerged. Next, we will prepare the gel beads. Snap the tube strip holder with the gel bead strip into a 10x Vortex adapter. Vortex for 30 seconds. Centrifuge the gel bead strip for approximately 5 seconds. Confirm there are no bubbles at the bottom of the tubes and the liquid levels are even. Place the gel bead strip back in the holder and secure the holder lid. Puncture the foil seal of the gel bead tubes. Slowly aspirate 50 microliters of gel beads. Dispense into the wells in the row label 2 without introducing air bubbles. Wait for 30 seconds. Finally, we add 45 microliters of partitioning oil into the wells in the row label 3 from our reagent reservoir. Failure to add partitioning oil to the top row labeled 3 will prevent gem generation and can damage the chromium instrument. Close the secondary holder lid and immediately run the chip in the chromium instrument. At this point, don't tip the chip and don't press down on the gasket. Now that we've loaded the reagents into the chip, we will insert the chip into the chromium.